Redditors who work in adult stores, what is the most NSFW thing you have found or a customer has done? I had a customer passed out from some drugs on the shift before mine and my co-workers forgot he was in the arcade. Later that night while I was working and watching slasher movies to pass the time I heard a noise in the arcade. No one has come in for 3 hours at this point. I'm freaked but I have to go check it out. I go into the arcade with my flashlight. And yell anybody back here. Out jumps this crackhead bud naked and screaming. He runs past me through the fire exit and into the night. I later found a crack piper wallet with some cash and his clothes. Scared me like no other time in my life. A little late to the game. But my wife used to work at an adult store when we first started dating. She has lots of stories. Both creepy and funny but this is my favorite. The store she worked at was open until the bars closed. So she often dealt with drunks leaving the nearby bars. One night a middle aged guy walked in and was looking to rent a DVD. After asking my wife a few questions and putting on a super creepy vibe he picks a couple pawns to rent. While she is ringing him up the guy starts inspecting some skimpy lingerie on display near the cash register. After a few minutes he says. You would look pretty good in something like this. Would you ever wear it? Now. My wife has a really sharp wit and doesn't put up with much it. So without missing a beat she replies. Sir. If I wore that my D would hang out. The guy's eyes got real wide and he just turns around and walks out leaving his money and DVDs behind. I have been flashed many DEs. And you'd be surprised at how many men stroke themselves through their pants while browsing. But all the fun and gross stories come from our video arcade. That's code for glory hole haven. Not me but my brother owns an adult store and he told me this story. Older lady comes in and tries to return a remote control vibrator saying it doesn't work. My brother, after putting on latex gloves, grabs the remote control and puts new batteries in it. With the fresh batteries installed my brother presses the go button and instantly the older woman lets out a moan and says, in what my brother called her old smoker's voice, oh yeah it's working now l. Found during a stock take a double ended D pump, which was pretty weird. Had a customer come in. I asked if I could help and he said no thanks. I don't speak any English. I'm just here to get something for my brother. He grabbed the most expensive replica pussy there was and paid cash about $700. Had two Irish guys come in first thing in the morning. They'd been out all night and my shop was the first place to open. They looked around for a bit then one of them said hey. You got somewhere here we can rack up some lines of speed. I was about to point them to the toilet when his mate punched him in the arm and said you don't be so ducking rude. You ask the man if he'd like to have some speed with us. Closed up the shop. Turned the security camera off and they racked up some lines on the counter. It was about 430 am. I was tired I tilted my chair back and rested my head on the shelves. I would just rest my eyes a bit. No. Of course I wouldn't sleep. There was no one in the store. Just when I started to drift off to dreamland, I hear a loud bang. My mind is trying to think of what could have made that huge noise. I open my eyes to see every dildo in the store. Flying in the air. So. A pickup truck had slid through the intersection and slammed into the outside wall of the shop. The wall on which racks and racks of dildos. I have never been more befuddled than in the first seconds after I opened my eyes. That's my favorite story. There are far many more gross ones. One of my organ students worked in an adult store during college. He was also a part-time church organist. And always concerned that someone from church might spot him there. He told me that he decided to quit because a customer brought back a used dildo and wanted to exchange it for something more satisfying. The customer made a scene when told that he couldn't exchange used merchandise. Okay story time. Had a friend that worked at a sex store in Canada. She told me this amazing story of a break in they had. So they show up to work one morning and the glass door in the back has been smashed by a cinder block so no alarms have gone off. The two that opened the store go to the security camera footage to see what happened. They start watching this skinny black kid no more than 18 or so crawl in through the hole he made in the glass. 
He walks around the store looking like he's looking for something and doesn't even head to the register. The guy goes straight to the ducking super expensive real doll section. Grabs a bottle of lube off the shelf and proceeds to duck 3 to 4 different toys including a $600 perfect pussy and a 2 grand real doll. Guy does his thing finishes up and just leaves through the hole he made. Story goes the cops recognized him and picked him up a couple days later. Because of the damage to the door and all the expensive it he literally ducked up they charged him with damages over 5 grand lol. TL. DR. Guy breaks into 6 shop ducks a bunch of really expensive dolls and pussies gets caught on tape and charged by police. I remember a buddy of mine who went into a 6 shop with a pair of calipers on hand to measure out the diameter of dildos. Mainly because he planned on using them as projectiles for his grenade launcher during airsoft games. Best part is he told the lady at the counter his intentions for the dildo. She said that launching them will hurt like hell. He didn't believe it because he thought that can be changed by adjusting the CO2 pressure of the grenade shell. Let's just say after some extensive testing, i.e. shooting each other with it at different C. We found out that getting hit by a dildo will knock you off your feet and break a windshield of a car. One afternoon I saw a fist fight in an adult cinema. My local porno store had a small cinema out the back. I was a little drunk so I paid my 5 bucks and in I went. The place reeked of cum and disinfectant. I walked in right as the fight was breaking out. A couple in their mid 40s had decided to duck in the cinema. When all the dudes in the cinema gathered round to watch, the husband didn't like the close attention. He started shoving the nearest guy and they threw a few punches at each other as his wife yelled at them. The guy behind the counter came in and calmed things down. The couple left. And one of the peep show girls told the husband off, if you duck in an adult cinema of course people are gonna want to watch. The funniest part though. One guy in the cinema didn't stop beating off throughout the whole ordeal lol. Not me but someone I knew who worked at a six shop. One day a lady came in and asked to see the Bengwa balls. Basically metal balls that you put up the V. They were in a counter and so he put them on top of the counter. She throws her leg up and puts one right in. I have a friend that works at a six shop. One of the shillest people I know. He's told us lots of stories. He frequently takes pictures of the weird stock they get in and shows it to us as well as the dumb names of the movies they get in. The story that stood out the most was when he told us a couple came in. It was a guy at least 6 foot 5. And a little girl in a sundress. Of age. Just small. No bigger than 4 foot 10. They apparently asked for the largest dildo in stock. Bought it and left. It was like 14 or 16 inches. Totally absurd. In my town there was an adult store whose sign read buy sell trade. The trade part always intrigued me. I have to use the classic not me. But an ex-girlfriend. She worked at a 6 store that also had a large video rental section. There used to be this Asian guy who would show up, pick up movies, bring to counter, and then in broken English would ask the staff what the words were. Turned out he spoke perfect English and just got off on the girls saying dirty words. A friend in college worked at an adult bookstore, late 90s, early zeros. They had a rash of people renting XXX VHS tapes, recording over them with Back to the Future, and returning them. Lots of pissed off renters coming back with tapes adulterated to be unadult rated. People jerking off in the rentals room. People returning tapes smeared with lube and god knows what else. But my all time favorite was when I ordered Chinese food delivered there. And this sweet little old Asian man delivered it. He had never been in a pawn shop before. And was like a kid in a candy store. He was asking what everything was and how it worked. And there was lots of laughter till we got to the dildo wall and he suddenly got furious. He pointed at this super small realistic dildo. Think size of a finger. And he starts yelling angrily. What is this question mark? I immediately took it to a racial place in my mind. Thinking he thought it was a nation dildo. But then he yells. You sell dildos for children question mark? I laughed and explained that men and women just have many strange tastes for dildos but that we only sell to adults. Awkward. Not me, but ex-girlfriend. 
worked in a tasteful erotic store where an older heavyset man would often come in and take small thongs from the rack, put them on in a small dressing room, and walk to the ladies working there, hoping for a reaction. She was warned about him when she started working there, edited a word. Apparently you don't eat stores. Not myself. But someone I used to know. Had a guy try and bring back a D-pump. Claimed it didn't work. If you work in a sex shop. Is anything NSFW in the first place? Mine is NSFW in two ways. Some guy tried to return a used vibrator. We did not take returns because. Well come on. Do you want a refurbished vibrator? Uck. Anyway, this guy started screaming at my manager over a $30 vibrator that his wife broke with her V and he wanted another one without paying for it. When my manager explained to him we don't take returns and would need him to pay for the new one. He threw the used vibrator at my manager's head, which she managed to duck. Grabbed the new vibe and booked it to the door. My manager did the dumb thing and followed the guy out of the store. While angrily yelling to the police on the phone. She planned to get the guy's license plate number to report him. He ended up trapping her in the front lobby by blocking the door with his foot. While she is still reporting his description to the police. He then proceeded to grab her by the throat. Throw her against the glass. Grab and twist her breasts. Then run out of the store. With his new vibrator. Comet to where his wife was in the car. Watching the whole thing. And screaming for him to get in so they could go. TL. DR. Dude committed an armed robbery with a used vibrator. Proceeded to sexually assault a manager to escape. Wife was the getaway driver. Guy returns the VHS tape without rewinding it. A friend of mine used to work in one. One of his co-workers used to ride their bike to work and would often store it in one of the booths. They would clean these booths multiple times a day with gloves and bleach for obvious reasons. Well my friend went to clean the booth where the bike was stored and proceeded to grab the bike handle while kneeling down to clean the floor and his hand slipped off the handle. Some dude, who had just been there, lubed up the bike handle and was using it for some but pleasure. I wasn't a store employee, but worked for the coroner's office. Guy had a heart attack in the personal arcade, jack off booth, and died. We did the removal of his body and all I could think about is how to notify the family with a professional demeanor. Still top 5 of my list of memorable deaths I was privy to. I worked part time in this video rental store that had porno flicks. The store was set up in a way that the children's movies were at the front. Where you can see them from the street. Kids could even come in the porno stuff was around a corner. 180 degrees through a door. And you had to get past me first. Well. This also means that I do not have total view of the porno racks at all times. Not even when I'm at the counter. Which you have to pass to get there. There was a guy who would come in and jizz on the covers of DVDs. Then put them back in the shelf. But not up front. So you could see there was jizz on it he always put them in second. Or three deep. So you could only discover the jizz trap by sorting through them. Ducker was eventually caught. God, I so wish I could have been witness to that. But it wasn't my shift. Most cliche thing about it, he wore a brown trench coat most of the time he came in. Closed up the front. Like an exhibitionist from the movies. Oh. And the girl working there, 18 and still in school, was shown a d-pic on her phone. The guy asked her if they had any porno with dicks like this. It was his own d. Sticking out of his own pants. With his shoes and his shirt all of which he was currently wearing on the photo. Screwed around with my then GF in all these stupid places. Her car. An abandoned factory. The side hallway thing in our school's black box theater. Her car in the student parking lot. Her car in the parking lot of a small pizza place. Changing rooms in the pool lobby of the school. We were pretty stupid lol.